So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload files into Notion. So there are actually a couple of different ways that you can upload files. The first way is by using a block like this. So this block is the file block. So its purpose is literally to upload files. So the way we're going to grab this is by typing in forward slash file. Looks like this, the file block. Next, it will give you a couple of different options. You can either upload a file that you currently have downloaded. The maximum size for this is five megabytes. If you're on the personal plan, you get more if you're on the plus plan. Um, you also have the option to embed a link. So if you have a link to say a PDF or a Google Drive or even a Google Map, you can just paste the link in here and it will automatically embed that file into Notion. So that's a really handy way if you don't have something downloaded. I'm just going to use the file option because I have my PDF downloaded. So I'm going to click on choose a file. I'm then going to select the file that I want to upload and it will just take a few seconds. It will upload the file. Okay, so once this is uploaded, this is what it's going to look like. Um, to open this document, you can click on it and it will open the file in another tab. If you want to download it, you can right click on this and this download button here will download it for you. So that's the first way that you can upload a file into Notion. Another way that you can do this is inside of a database. So here I have an example of a sales database. So let's just say, for example, you have a sale and you want to upload the invoice into a database. You can actually do this in Notion. So I'll show you how to do that now. So the first thing we're going to need is our database. So the one you want to use is database inline. Just give it a name. So I'm just going to call it sales. I always like to hide the database title because I think it looks a little bit cleaner. So I'm just going to click hide and I'm just going to rename this as well. OK, so this is now what we have. So I'm just going to put in sale one as an example, and we're just going to delete this tags property. It's a default property that we don't need. So I'm just going to delete it. I'm also just going to delete these two rows. So next, we're going to add in the files column. So you want to click on this plus type in file and it brings up this files and media property. So I'm going to click on that. You can change the name. I'm just going to call it files and click enter. So if I click on this box, it will give me the option to either upload a file or embed a link. So in this case, I'm just going to upload a file again, pick a file. I'm going to pick this invoice and it will upload the file. OK, so once it's done, it will come up like this. So this is our current file. If I click these dots, it will let me download it, view it, rename it or delete it. I can also add another file. So for example, say I had another invoice for this sale that I needed to add, I could add a second file as well. So you can add as many files as you want to each property, which is really great. So if you want to view any of these files, you can just click on the actual name of the file and it will automatically open that file up into a separate tab. But if you just want to amend the file or upload another one or delete one, if you just click on any of the white space inside this box, it will bring up this little options menu. So you can either download or delete these and you can easily add another one here as well. And that's it. That's how you can upload files into Notion. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. And you can also check out my pre-made Notion templates in my Etsy store. The link will be in the description below.